Hello everyone, this is Jackie, the French reporter for Watson Headquarters. I'm here in a beautiful Malibu where an incredible event is happening, the Emily Shane Foundation. It is very chilly, but we are not going to let the weather control our action. Look, this kid, we're about to have a hurricane! about this amazing creation of the Emily Shane Foundation. I knew Emily since Emily was in diapers. Oh. When you find these foundations that speak to your heart about a family that lost someone but didn't let the tragedy take them down but actually built something for the community and for people to press forward, you get attached to something like that because it's very courageous it's very hopeful. She would tell you tonight to dance, and she would tell you to dance as if no one were watching. Now that was said before she was born. We created a program and an educational initiative called the SEA or C program. It stands for Successful Educational Achievement. Education is really, really important, so I think it's, it's the first place to kind of um, really get your groundings and your bearings, and, um, and so I, I really believe in the cause, so I, I thought I'd come along even if it's raining. To help, I should say, children in middle school specifically who are failing or struggling and who can't afford any kind of help. You know, your 12, 13, 14 year olds, unless they don't, these kids are going to give up because they're, you know, low self-esteem or they have no self-belief. It's our responsibility to raise uh, good human beings for the society, so the education starts from zero. And often these are the kids who head down the wrong path or who suffer from low self-esteem, or who act out, or give up. I, I love what the foundation is doing, and so uh, I'm just really excited to be here and share the night with everybody. What we do is we provide them with a support system academically, mentor who works with them intensively throughout the school year so that they can improve. It started with one group, now they have 12. These are kids that need tutors. These are kids that are getting tours, so all these people that are going to pass through there tonight are going to change lives, and they change them immensely. I was one of those kids. I could have no more told you what was going on in a classroom without help than fly to the moon. This charity kind of came because it supports young people with learning difficulties. I got very lucky. And here are some kids that are benefited by this who are going to be lucky as well. We actually had uh, learning difficulties, I mean we still have learning difficulties ourselves. We, we have uh, dyslexia which is kind of um, where, where you find it hard to, hard to read. So definitely as an actor, and there's a lot of scripts that we have to read through, there was a challenge. But we, we kind of got the support when we needed it and that was in school. I believe that it's not that the children aren't smart, it's that they haven't had the right support, guidance, help, whatever it is, or they may not understand the teacher. There's a myriad of reasons. When really all it takes is one person to voice some encouragement to them to make a difference. They have to do something to get the service from us because we're giving them something. They have to give something back. They have to pass it forward. They have to do a good deed for every single mentoring session they have. So they usually meet with their mentors twice a week for about an hour, hour and a half. And after each mentoring session, they must, before the next mentoring session, go on our website and put down what they did for somebody else. What's your website? It's emilyshane.org. For all the ones that couldn't be here tonight, give us a little tune. Uh, in the face of what we both fear, I found the cure, the cure. That's what I'm talking about. It's not about what you have, it's about what you give. And when you give something, you feel amazing. When you decide that you want to shift, you can help actually a group of people. A group of people turns into a small little society, a small little into a city. A city can turn into a nation. And the nation, a movement, a culture, and so on and so forth. And here we are. And so many people are focused on the essence of Emily. And you want to make sure that that's what we're celebrating tonight. I know what it's like, the frustration and disappointment and I wanted to help children with something that would have been significant to her. See, if I say the word education, what do you say? Essential. 
We are here at the Shane Foundation and it is so cold, it's about to be a hurricane. It's we are here freezing. with the twins. It's so cold.